Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a beetle. <laughs> we begin by marking the total size and then doing a center line through the middle of the body. Then we sketch the head, the face, <laughs> the body and we continue building up in this way. Once we have the general shapes we begin doing some detail. We mark the front legs, which are wide in some parts and thinner in other ones, the ones in the center and the rear ones. They have six legs. Now with the metallic tip of the mechanical pencil without the lead, we indent the paper in little dots, so that when we shade, these little dots will stay white, as they are recessed. Very good, and we start shading. For this I'm using an HB lead, which is of a medium hardness. While for the darker parts I use one that is a little bit softer, AB, and for the lighter areas I use a harder one, an H. Switching among these leads and of course pressing less or more, we achieve all these tones. I'm not sure if you are able to see from where you are the little dots that are happening while I shade. And they are of course the ones that I made with the tip of the mechanical pencil indenting the paper. I erased the original sketch lines that went wrong <laughs> and that I don't need anymore, so that it looks cleaner. Very good, I like it how it is coming. However, it looks like it's in the air. We should do the shadow to ground it. I will not do this shadow with a totally defined edge, but rather the grey will be gradually disappearing. I mean it will have a soft edge. And now to deliver better a 3D effect, I will draw a surface, which will be a sheet of paper. I switch lead again, and I do a tone for the background. This so that the piece of paper stands out, as it will remain white, of course and we do a shadow for the paper. If you want the pencil marks to look softer, you can lightly pass a chamois or a rag. Unfortunately, I just made some blotches. This probably happened because I had touched the paper with the grease of the fingers. That wasn't supposed to happen. I am cleaning it up with a kneaded eraser. I refined the shade of the paper, the last details, and it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to find our tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.